Hope you people are all doing well. In this video, we are going to create the OTP in Java that how can you create a one time password in Java. So without wasting any time, let's just go on to the Apache NetBeans and create a project. All right. So basically we are going to create the project in JSwing. So we need to go and create a JFrame form in which we are going to create some buttons and fields through which we are going to generate the OTP the four digit OTP right so this is our JFrame form and here we just need a single label a text field and a button that all we need for this project so it's a very many and a basic project here so in this video we are going to see how can you do it with a simple steps so here I just put the enter digit with the uh, with the help of a label I just drag a single J text field and a J button so here we need to add it the text here we can just write the name as enter and just change the variable name as len length now go into the event action and action perform when you just click the action perform it will leads you to the backend code so you have to find the j button one action perform method inside this you need to create a first variable that is actually i and that variable data type is a string you need to fetch the text that user will insert in the j text field at a time when the program will be running on the screen right now we just have to create some variable with the name of s and ren and o and just put the single apostrophes that you need to initialize that variable so we just initialize two variable s and ran number now obviously we need to create the digit 4 otp so for that purpose we need to create a loop here we are just creating a loop that is actually for inti equals to 0 i is lesser than the length that we have put now the question is len length is the data that actually captures the data from the jtx field and it will just capture the value as a garbage value we need to convert that string into the integer so for that purpose you need to see the line number 94 where i have written integer dot percent in this way you can easily convert the string in integer now we need to create a random function here for that purpose the random function help us to generate the four digit random otp number every time when we just click the button of enter right so we just need to concat that integer dot two string and here we have to parse the variable name that is actually ran number it is showing us an error for that purpose you need to import the java util dot random library okay now you just have to write the j option pan dot show message dialog to show the otp on the pop-up screen so here you have to pass the parameter null and just pass s now save the file and just run the file when you just run that file you will see this kind of a screen here you just pass the value 4 and press the enter but it is not showing me 4 digit there is some bug right here in the code so let's just figure out and rectify the issue what the issue really is here okay now the issue is we haven't passed the parameter of next end because when we will not pass the exact parameter that from which range of number we need so it will just give us the random value so when i just save the program run that file again so when i just pass the value 4 so it will show us the random four digit otp and it will show the random number different every time when you will just click the enter even when you just click 50 so it will show you a random number of 50 digits so this is how easily you can create the otp and java swing so hope you like this video so if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel name Qshin tonight and share this video among your friends